in this episode, we are going to have a summary, some final thoughts. And of course, you're watching Dev Tips with the well known guest hosts, MPJ and David. I I'm pretty satisfied with how this turned out. It's. It's really cool. I am. Like, I think that we were. A l I was about to say that we were a lot more productive than I anticipated, but they, we did exactly what we were said that we were. Yeah. <laughs> we supposed to. And of course, everything is available on the MPJ's Better Playlist GitHub, mm. where you can check out the commits and you can replicate the commits. Yeah. Should we, by the way, just show how you check out a specific commit? Yeah. So let's do the we suck commit. Yeah. Uh, so you just copy paste that. You just can click this one. No, you just click the little this one? there. Yeah, copy the full S H A, uh, and, and then, then back to the terminal. Yep. And here, and then I just do git checkout. Yep. That commit exactly. Uh, so what happened here is that it now changed everything here yep. into the state that it had at the time of uh, this commit. Exactly. So if you're looking at the local host, so this is the current live environment, but if we go to the local host version, you see that this is before we started adding the styling. Some of you might think this is the more beautiful part and that it turned worse, but and how do I get back to the current where I'm at right now? Good question. Um, git checkout master perhaps? Yeah. Can we just do a recap of everything we've done? Yeah. Uh, so we, we start, besides the intro, we talk a little bit about why we uh, think React.js is good for prototyping. Like, I hope that this entire series has showed the power of React and the flexibility of it. Because we can do all this with the real data. And when you sign in, you will have your data. So that is the amazing part. And also, all this stuff. I love this. Yeah. It's... Like programming the styling. Yep. If you don't think that uh, React is awesome by now, uh, there is just nothing we can do and you can go suck it. Um, after that, we uh, sketched out the components. We did a drawing of the application and it turned out pretty much exactly like we planned. After that, we uh, installed Node.js. And then we created the React the create react app the thing where like started everything from uh, we also like when we installed node.js we said that we would demonstrate uh, an npm module somewhere along the way and mm -hmm. we did yeah we used the query string uh, npm module pull that in and we also pulled uh, pulled in a css reset um, oh yeah we did npm module. we pulled in a css npm module just yeah. like that i didn't know you could do that we just did we just tried it and then we did our first pushes to GitHub, all these commits. We pushed to GitHub and we see all the commits here. After that, we learned how to deploy to Heroku, which was basically the same thing. Like once we have had everything set up, we just pushed commits to Heroku instead of pushing it to GitHub. Yep. And it just magically updated the environments. After that, we started populating the components with some fake data or we started creating a data structure for our application. Mm -hmm. We also added autocomplete during that episode. Or perhaps we, it was the episode perhaps. after episode, it was a separate episode. I don't remember, but we did autocomplete after that. But ex it's not exactly, it's not autocomplete. No, no, no. <laughs> no we no, made sorry, a, no. a dynamic <laughs> filter. It's not an no, autocomplete. No, it's a, sorry, yeah. we lied. It's a type ahead. Yeah. No, it's a sub hard at all. Then it started getting tricky because we wanted to make OAuth authentication with Spotify. So we had to create a backend server, yeah. which we also just published to Heroku. Yeah, it was, that was probably the episode that we struggled most with and we ended up doing a template project that you can use. Uh, we didn't do that from the start, uh, but we felt that that would have been way too much uh, detail to do. And I guess that is when you, depending on what you are, what kind of prototype you're building, if you're building within your company, 
that's when you can ask your developers to help you out to figure out how to connect yeah, with so. the, their APIs. Yeah, because that part is going to be very different from company to company. But once we had done that, we started fetching data from the Spotify API. And that, is, that was a bit tricky because of the promises. I think that takes some getting used to it. I still haven't gotten that used to the promise part of the fetches. Well, like the first part of the data fetching oh, yeah, was that's, reasonably that's, straightforward, say. Like that was the, just fetch and then. Yeah, like uh, there, there was a promise involved, but it was not a ton of, ton of complexity there. But then we started doing some advanced data mangling, and that turned quite, uh, quite intricate. Yeah, and that was because for each playlist that we fetched a list of playlists, and then we had for each playlist had to fetch that playlist's tracks. Yep, and mesh, mash them together and stuff them into, a, mangle them into the data structure that we wanted. And of course we could have made this perhaps a bit simpler if we first had studied the API and seeing the data structure instead of just trying to build our own data structure. Maybe, um, but... On the other hand, we could build everything so that it sort of worked on the client side without any proper data. Yeah, it's like, I like the idea of... Um, I, want, I, I intentionally wanted us to do that actually because APIs are very often bad. <laughs> Uh, or at least uh, unsuitable for your purposes. It's extremely common that you have to uh, like beat them into submission, and I think that this was a great example of doing that. Um, they just they're they're built for the generic case. They're not built for your specific app. This is development. That is what development is: making yeah. bending reality, the imperfections of the reality, into your to your will. So I think that episode was good from that perspective, even if it was complicated. Yeah. And in the last episode, we started styling everything. And of course, it, it's not the most beautiful app, despite <laughs> of this commit message making it look beautiful. But hopefully it showed you what is the whole greatness of React with having all this inline coding. We put the CSS and we made it programmable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, programmable uh, styling is the, I think it's, it, it, that puts it very succinctly. So we want to thank you for watching this series and you can check out MPJ's channel by clicking, there's probably links in the description and everything. Yeah. It's called Fun Fun Function. Yeah, and I want to thank Travis for having us here. Yeah, it was, fun. It was great fun. Uh, you should also check out David's channel if you are a uh, Google Analytics person. And that's it. That's it, cheers. Cheers! Ingen som kom på det här avsnittet. Kitta. Ja, och fast jag, det beror nog på om man är så här, om man har kört ner all den här jävla tiden i det så ja. har jag nog blivit kompressad lite. Ja. Det här är jag kvar på.